Hello guys and welcome to this video. Now firstly I'd like to apologise for not uploading as many videos in the last month. Uh, I've been more active on Instagram at Seiko Mods Dubai uh, where I've been building quite a few watches lately. Uh, so I am still doing this, I am still actively modifying watches for clients and building custom watches for people. Uh, I just haven't had a chance yet to share some of them. So I thought today I'm going to record you um, a video on a few different examples. Actually three of these are my own personal builds. And um, I'll update you as I go on what's, what's going on and how to place an order if you're interested and uh, a few other bits of news. So. Um, Let's dive into the watches because I know that's really why, why you're here. Uh, so I'll start down here. This is actually a, uh, a Seiko um, Sea Urchin mod. Now I kind of inherited uh, some of this watch because it, I did actually buy an entire watch just for one part and that was the black uh, day wheel from it. So I thought actually, you know what, I kind of like the uh, white day wheel instead. And the reason I did that was actually because I needed the um, Arabic black day wheel and it's surprisingly hard to find in a three o'clock position. Uh, if you know what that means, the day wheel is uh, relative to the crown position. So for example, I can't put this day wheel in this watch because the crowns are a different position and it won't look right. But anyway, I decided to make myself this little Kermit mod and um, I really like this watch. It's light, it's simple. I've just got it on a NATO at the moment. I would like to get a, um, a nice bracelet for it, but it seems it's kind of hard to find suppliers uh, in Dubai that will or that will ship to Dubai at a reasonable rate uh, that offer bracelets for this model. Um, but really nice watch. One thing that I've that really pleases me about it is the bezel action. The sea urchin, and this is the standard bezel, the sea urchin bezel action is just really pleasant. It's nice and tight, just the perfect amount of force required. And of course, it is a ceramic bezel insert. This one, I believe, was from Watch and Style. Uh, sapphire crystal, Mercedes hands, chapter ring, and of course, that white day date. I've kept the original movement in here. And to be honest, guys, um, I always put the NH36 movement in most of my client orders, but there's nothing really wrong with the 7S26. So to save $50, you may as well uh, keep it sometimes because it really is no bother to, to sort of shake it to get it going. It just doesn't feel as premium of an experience. On the back, you've got the standard Seiko uh, exhibition case back as well, if you can just see it under the NATO there. Now I've got it on this nice seatbelt style, quite shiny, uh, NATO strap, but I think it works with the colors for now, uh, but really I would like the bracelet for it. So that's something I'm looking for at the moment. Uh, so that's watch number one. This is a 43 millimeter uh, case size, actually. In some ways it wears bigger than the SKX Snell cases like this one, but in other ways it wears a bit smaller. I think it's overall just a thinner, lighter watch. So that's watch number one. The next one I'll show you, let's go here. This is a uh, one of my first kind of design ideas when I first got into Seiko mods, and especially sharing them with you all. You might remember I made a watch based on my car, and I wanted to uh, celebrate uh, my car in watch form. And this is uh, the reincarnation of that model. At the time, in fact, I'll post the picture of the first watch I built. Uh, and you can see the color scheme and some of the parts are actually still there, but I have switched things up. I've got an original Seiko 5 uh, gray dial, this quite rare dial. I think this is from the Naruto series of watches. I really can't remember the reference, but I'll link it below. Um, but here is uh, a real Seiko dial, original Seiko dial that has that same lovely sunburst gray color. Uh, you can see I've got a double dome sapphire with a bit of blue AR. I've got an orange seconds hand, uh, which you might think looks a bit odd, but that is inspired by the speedometer on the car itself. And the car in question is a Porsche Boxster 981. Um, I've got a strap. This is, I think it's called the Kingston strap from uh, Watch Gecko. Really nice strap. I'm actually pleased with, you know, I've worn this watch quite a lot and it's still looking pretty fresh. Um, S signed crown in red, a nice coin edge bezel. And to be honest, for the turtle size, which is quite a lot bigger, 
If I put them side by side with, say, the sea urchin, for example, though the watch isn't all that much bigger, the well, the case size um, is, I think this is like 44, and this is uh, 43. Um, it does feel bigger on the wrist for sure. And I've got quite big wrists, as some of you all know, so this is why um, I decided to up the, size, the case size generally. I think I will um, will start to look at more more watches like this, uh, this sort of size at 44, 45, uh, because Seiko's generally wear smaller than their size dictates. Um, but really love this watch and hope you guys enjoy the new version of the Porsche watch, as I call it. Um, really cool. And the bezel, it's the sort of vintage sub style or even black bay style bezel. And I've tried to, because I love the black bay as well, I've tried to keep it that way with 60 clicks as well. I've modified the, the uh, click spring in there so it's just 60 clicks. Um, this has an NH36 movement, of course, Mercedes hands. The uh, parts from this one, I believe, I think the insert was actually from the Moki mods. Um, the case was from Watch and Style. Uh, Crown was from Watch and Style. Of course, the dial is that limited edition dial, which makes it that little bit more special. But really like that watch. Super unique to me, and uh, I know it's one of a kind. So next, let's go to another one of my personal watches. So, so far, this one's mine, this one's mine, and this one's mine. This is, uh, I wanted to, actually wanted to just to build a watch to take on holiday with me. And um, fortunately, I can do that. I can switch watches up quite quickly and easily for myself. Uh, I don't do it enough, to be honest. I need to take more of a break to actually work on my own designs. But this one is simple, clean, and of course, it's uh, the Arabic bezel that really, really shines here. Uh, now I've got this one on a uh, strap code or Miltat Oyster Bracelet. This is a 5KX case. I think it's the SRPD 55K1, um, but of course different, different strap there as well. Um, I've upgraded the crystal, of course. I've added a polished chapter ring, which is not something I usually do, but it just seems to work with this, this general mod. I've got the exhibition case back, of course. Uh, the V clasp, which is uh, is a lot of a better clasp than the standard clasps you get on even um, strap code, but also so a lot of the aftermarket bracelets from Watch and Style and the Moki, which I do still recommend. But this clasp is clasp is a lot more chunky, a bit longer. So if you've got a bigger wrist, it helps. But the star of the show here, I think, is the Arabic Dark Knight 12-hour bezel. Now I really. I just love the Arabic design. Um, it's one of my most popular sort of requests is anything to do with Arabic dials, Arabic bezels and so on. Um, so I couldn't really, uh, you know, have a personal watch without one. So here it is. Um, one thing I might do, although it might make my own time reading a bit more difficult, is switch the date to Arabic. That is something that I've just started doing with a few custom orders. Um, so I might well do that to make it all tie together. I've decided to keep the hands the same original uh, 5KX hands just because the loom just looks perfect. Um, it's simple, go everywhere, do anything, nice and tough, good bezel action. This one's quite tight. Because it's a 12 hour bezel, I also switched it to the 60 click. I do that on pretty much all of my own watches actually, just because I prefer the feel of it. And this will help me track my home time, Dubai time, uh, when I'm enjoying uh, my trip to Thailand, hopefully soon. So that's a nice little reminder of my home for me. And finally, this is a watch which uh, is quite unusual. I never thought I'd make it, um, but it just so happened I had all of the parts required for this um, available and they all just seem to work. So this is, oh, let me just show you something special. This is a, a Seiko Sumo green dial. It looks a bit dark on the camera and inside here, um, but it is a slightly sunburst green, kind of like a, a pine green, I'd say. And on top of it, we've also got a green sapphire crystal, which gives it a bit more of like an electric green kind of tint in some light. 
Uh, so it really plays with the light, this one. Uh, inside, we've got the green chapter ring. We've got Mercedes hands. We've got a sapphire crystal. Uh, so this is the same sort of build that, that I do, and I call it the blackout, which you'll see on my channel as well. But I love putting bright dials in these kind of watches because otherwise it is just too much black. This one's got a lovely, it's almost military style to it. Um, interestingly, the case and bezel, crown, case back, all come from the watch that this dial came from. So I ended up actually buying the whole watch just for the dial and then taking the dial out. Um, turned out I actually had someone trade in a, a green dial, this green sumo dial. I thought I need to put it in, in uh, something special. I had a green AR crystal as well, and I thought, oh, this is gonna make an awesome combination, and I believe it has. So that's a sapphire crystal double dome with green AR coating and a ceramic Yachtmaster bezel insert. Um, a lot of these parts, like I said, you can get from Namoki Mods. The link's in the description. I've actually got a referral link now as well. Um, doesn't cost you any more, but it helps me out a bit. So if you're interested in having a look at some parts at least, go ahead and use that link below. Um, now, there is actually a special thing on this watch as well on the back, because I decided just to keep all of those uh, Naruto special edition elements. Fans of the show will recognize the symbol and it is actually a numbered limited edition. Um, now, I will be offering this one for sale. I think it just looks perfect as it is. Um, for me, I would probably want to swap the swap it to a bigger strap because I have to wear this one on the very edge and it's not quite big enough for me. I love the watch, and the, but otherwise, if you're looking for a black watch with a, a rare dial, um, super unique, super um, unusual combination, uh, especially with that green AR crystal, which really plays with the light. Uh, this might be the watch for you. So if you're interested, hit me up on at Seiko Mods Dubai and I will work out a deal for it. Now, another little update. So as I'm going away, I won't be able to build any new watches until the end of July. However, I am still taking pre-orders. And uh, so what I'm doing is essentially uh, quoting people for builds and um, working out uh, a price and then perhaps taking a deposit if it's a local order or um, PayPal payment if it's a international order and I will get through them. I do have some more time in the summers usually so I'm just carrying on. Uh, so you might not get your watch as quickly as you might usually uh, any other time of the year but I needed a break. I wanted to get away and uh, it should work out in the end. So in the meantime please Follow me at Seiko Mods Dubai, subscribe to this video, ask me any questions below and have a look at the links in the description if you're interested in any parts or watches. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.